tell us a story. Pinky's got a story she wants to share with you. Pinky Dinky do never at a loss for words. She pulls out of the blue. Pinky Dinky do her little brother Tyler and Mr. Guinea Pig. Pinky Dinky's always thinking big. Yes, a Rooney positive zip zap zoom. <laughs> Pinky Dinky do in the great big city with all the Dinky doos. Pinky makes up stories with fancy words too. She's always acting silly, and you'll often hear her say, "Now that's something you don't see every day." Little brother Tyler and Mr. Guinea Pig, Pinky Dinky's always thinking big. Yes, a Rooney Positoonie, zip zam zoom. You. <laughs> Pinky Dinky do. Pinky Dinky rap. Why are you eating now? I thought you were going to Lula's house for dinner. I have to fill up now. <gasps> Lula and her family are... <laughs> Vegetarians. Do you know what that means, Pinky? Sure I do. A <laughs> vegetarian is someone who doesn't eat any meat. Exactly. No meat. What's left? <gasps> Tyler, we eat lots of stuff other than meat. You know what Lula's family eats? Bean curd. <laughs> Grilled bean curd, bean curd casserole, bean curd ice cream. I bet they drink big glasses of bean curd juice. And I don't like bean curd. I'm sure they don't eat only bean curd. And besides, have you ever tasted it? Don't have to. It just sounds nasty, and I'm sure I won't like it. Hmm. Don't like something even though you haven't tried it. That gives me an idea. Pinky, are you gonna make up a story? Yes, sir. Rooney positive. Yes, sir. Rooney positive. We're going to the story box where Pinky's really good at making up stories, and every story rocks. Story box. Okay, so one day, about 60 million years ago, a family of Dinky Rexes was having a cookout. Daddy Dinky Rex was grilling some meat. Mommy Dinky Rex was tossing a meat salad. Hey, it looks like a family of Apatosaurus are moving in next door. Great, let's invite them over for meat. But Dad, Apatosauruses don't eat meat. They're <laughs> vegetarians. Okay, let's just go over there and eat them. Daddy! Kidding, kidding. Hello, Dinky Rex residents. Oh, hi. It's the Apatosauruses. Oh! You're inviting us to your house for a new neighbor dinner? Well, sure, we'd love to come. Just tell me what we can bring. Maybe some meat? Oh, nothing? Well, all right. We'll see you at six. Bye-bye. So later that day, the Dinky Rexes met the Apatosaurus. Hi, Hello, the Dinky nice Rexes. cave. Hi, I'm Pammy. Come in, come in. We've got company. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm Bud. This is our daughter, Lulu. Everybody was getting pretty hungry, so they all sat down to dinner. So, Lulu, I guess you'll be in the same class as Tyler at Teeny Tiny Dino School. Oh, yes, ma'am. I can't wait. Mmm. While Mommy Dinky Rex tried to get to know everybody, a very hungry Daddy Dinky Rex 
just pushed the salad around his plate. It didn't look like anything he'd want to eat. Who's ready for soup? Hmm. Thanks. Mmm, hmm, this long grass soup is so tasty. Daddy Dinky Rex was super hungry now, but not for long grass soup. He thought maybe they'd just forgotten to bring out the real food. So after a while, he dropped a little hint. Uh, uh, could you please pass the meat, please? Oh boy, Mr. Rex, I'm glad you asked. You are gonna love this. And for our main course this evening, <laughs> barbecued ribs. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, uh, I mean, thank you. As I was saying, barbecued ribs. Vegetarian style. Huh? Uh-oh. I don't understand. Well, they're not actually real meat. These ribs are made out of a giant fern called Elboni spleenworts. We don't eat real meat. Remember, honey? They're... vegetarian. But Daddy no. Dinky Rex was so hungry he couldn't take it anymore. And he started to cry. Oh, I'm so hungry. Somebody do something! <laughs> Dinner was getting really awkward, and Pinky Dinky Rex knew that it was time to think big. Check this out, everyone! Pink is gonna think big! If I have a problem, don't know which way to go, I think and think and think and think! And suddenly I know! Come on, Pink, think! And then it happened! Pinky Dinky Rex had a great big prehistoric idea! Woohoo! Pinky Dinky Rex knew just what to do. Daddy, why don't we have a no thank you portion? A, a what? That's when you just take a tiny bit to taste and say no thank you to the rest. Well, I guess I could try it. I don't like this. Oh. I love it! It's absolutely dino delicious! Oh. Oh, oops, sorry. I guess I kind of got carried away. No problem. We make dino portions here. Daddy Dinky Rex learned that not only being a meat eater is good, so is being a... vegetarian. And they all had a delicious dinner. And that's exactly what happened. Pretty much the end. That's a great story, Pinky. You know what? I'm going to try all of the vegetarian dishes at Lulu's house. And you can always have a no thank you portion. Yeah, and who knows? I might need a second helping of bean curd ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like game time. Say cheese, please. Cheese, please. What's the name of my story? What's the name of my story? Here are three story names. The Parachuting Chicken. Pinky Dinky Rex. The Great Big Beautiful Day. So, what do you think is a good name for my story? Remember, it's gotta be about what happened in my made-up story. If it is, you say, yes! And if it isn't about something that happened in your made-up story, we shout, no! That's right! Let's play! Is the name of my made-up story, The Parachuting Chicken? No! 
this story wasn't about a chicken with a parachute. Right. How about the great big beautiful day? No, your story wasn't about the weather. Okay. How about Pinky Dinky Rex? Yes, that's a great name for your story. It was about a dinosaur family. That's right, little brother. Yay! Let's play a game called What Was My Big Idea? What was my big idea? In my made-up story, Daddy Dinky Rex had a problem. He didn't want to eat vegetarian food. And you came up with a great solution. Your big idea really helped. Thanks, Tyler. Do you remember what my big idea was? Shout yes when you see the right solution. And when you don't, shout no. Ready? Let's play. Was my big idea to ask a ladybug? No, that wasn't your big idea. It sure wasn't. How about this? Was my big idea to dress Mr. Guinea Pig up like a butterfly? No, Pinky. It wasn't that. You're right. That wasn't my big idea either. What about this? Was my big idea to try a tiny taste and say no thank you to the rest? Yes, Pinky, that was your big idea. Daddy Dinky Rex tried a tiny taste and he ended up loving the vegetarian food. It was a great solution to his problem. Thanks, little brother. Good job. Let's play a game called What Was My Big Idea? What was my big idea? In my made-up story, Daddy Dinky Rex had a problem. He didn't want to eat vegetarian food. And you came up with a great solution. Your big idea really helped. Thanks, Tyler. Do you remember what my big idea was? Shout yes when you see the right solution. And when you don't, shout no! Ready? Let's play. Was my big idea to ask a ladybug? No, that wasn't your big idea. It sure wasn't. How about this? Was my big idea to dress Mr. Guinea Pig up like a butterfly? No, Pinky. It wasn't that. You're right. That wasn't my big idea either. What about this? Was my big idea to try a tiny taste and say no thank you to the rest? Yes, Pinky, that was your big idea. Daddy Dinky Rex tried a tiny taste and he ended up loving the vegetarian food. It was a great solution to his problem. Thanks, little brother. Good job. I love making up stories, and I bet you can make up a story, too. <laughs>